Hello, everyone. This is Miss Ashley at San Marcos Public Library. In honor of National Hispanic Heritage Month, our puppet show story is a folk tale from Mexico. It's the story of a mama sheep, her little lamb, and Senor Lobo, the hungry wolf who would gladly eat them both. But never fear, this sheep is as clever as she is fluffy. So let's watch the show and see whether Senor Lobo has treats or tricks in store. I hope you enjoy the show. Once upon a time, there was a mama sheep named Bonita. She had a little lamb who was the treasure of her heart. She knew that there were wolves who lived nearby, but she was determined to keep her baby safe. And though she was not as strong as a wolf, she was fierce and clever. Mommy, mommy, look at me. Yes, Miho, you are growing big and strong, but we must be careful. Sheep must always be on the lookout for wolves. How will I know a wolf when I see one? Wolves are big and hairy and gray, with pointy ears and long pointy noses and big sharp teeth. Mommy, mommy, I see a wolf. You have good eyes, Miho. Go and hide and be very quiet while I deal with this wolf. What a plump sheep. I'm starving. I haven't eaten all day and you look delicious. Oh, Senor Lobo, I can see that you are a very hungry wolf with excellent taste. I would be a poor dinner for you. I'm really so scrawny under all this wool. But I know of something so much more delicious than sheep. Ah, if only you could wait till tonight, you could taste it. More delicious than a sheep? What is it? Cheese! Oh, amigo, cheese is the most delicious food in the world. And tonight, there will be a big round wheel of it floating in the pond. All the cheese you can eat. If only you could save your appetite, you would be so delighted to taste it. Savory, salty, delicious cheese. That does sound better than a stringy sheep. If I come back tonight, can you show me where to find it? Si, sí, Senor Lobo. So the wolf went away and came back when it was dark. Ooh, ooh, I'm really hungry now. Where are you, sheep? Where is the cheese? Here I am, and you will see the cheese soon. Any minute now. Just keep your eyes on the water, and when you see it, jump in and grab it with your teeth. You will love it. The moon rose and was reflected in the surface of the water. I see it, I see it. Round and yellow and delicious. It's huge. I'll be full for a week. And the wolf jumped in the pond. What? <clears throat> what? No cheese? Where did the cheese go? I saw it with my own eyes, but there's nothing here now but mucky water. Now I'm wet and hungry. Ooh, where did that sneaky sheep go? I'll eat her up next time. Bonita knew the wolf would be back. The next day, she hid her lamb carefully and told him to hide quietly. Then she took up a position in a hollow on the side of the mountain where the wolf couldn't miss her. She leaned back with her feet braced against the rock above her. When Senor Lobo came along, he was very puzzled. I'm here to eat you, sheep, but what are you doing? Why are you upside down under those rocks? Come on out so I can eat you. Oh, Senor Lobo, I do wish I could. But this morning the mountain started to collapse and I got in here just in time to hold it up with my legs. If I come out, the whole mountain will fall down on us and kill us all. What? A falling mountain? Yikes. Don't move. Whatever you do, don't let the mountain fall. Oh, but Senor Lobo, I've been holding up this mountain all morning. My legs are so tired, I think they will give out any minute. We're all doomed! No, don't say that. 
I'm too handsome to die. Maybe I could get some help from the village. There are many strong men there, but if I let this rock fall, we will all die. Senor Lobo, your legs are so much stronger than mine. Can you hold up this rock for me while I run to the village for help? Yes, okay. Anything to keep this mountain from falling, but hurry up! So Bonita slipped out from under the rock just as Senor Lobo slipped in and braced his own legs against it. I'll be back soon, Senor Lobo. Just keep holding that rock up. I'm sure the village will make you a big feast as a reward for saving us all. Just come back quickly. The rock is heavy. Off Bonita went, back to her little lamb, and not to the village at all. The sheep grazed peacefully all afternoon, while Senor Lobo sweated and strained, holding up the rock. What is taking that sheep so long? Help had better come back soon. My legs can't take much more of this. Oh, oh no, leg cramp. Oh, ooh. Senor Lobo rolled out from under the rock, too exhausted to hold it up any longer. To his great surprise, neither the rock nor the mountain fell. What? I'm alive. I'm alive. But wait a minute. The mountain isn't falling. That sheep tricked me. I've been holding this rock up all day for no reason. Ooh, oh, next time I'll get that sheep for sure. No more tricks, just treats. For me. Woo! Ow, ow! Bonita knew that Senor Lobo would be ready for her tricks the next time they met, and would accept nothing less than a sheep dinner. So she told her lamb to hide one more time, and when the wolf appeared, she was meek and fearful. There you are, sheep. No escape this time, and no tricks. I'm going to eat you up. Oh, Senor Lobo, I can see that there was no putting you off. You are too determined, and I am out of tricks. If I let you eat me, it will spare some other sheep from being your dinner. I am ready for my fate. But I am so scared of your big, sharp teeth. Won't it hurt when you eat me? Well, yeah, I guess so. Please grant me one request. Swallow me in one gulp so it won't hurt so much. You just open your mouth wide and I'll run and jump in. You swallow me as fast as you can and your tummy will at last be full. Okay, I guess that's fair. I'm so hungry now, I think I can swallow you whole. So Senor Lobo opened his mouth as wide as he could, which made his eyes squeeze almost shut. But before Bonita ran at his mouth, she picked up an armload of prickly pear. Here I come, Senor Lobo. Open wide and swallow me in one bite. Ow! Ow! Ooh, ouch! What a terrible surprise for Senor Lobo. A mouthful of sharp prickles. Ooh, ow! So sharp. The sheep in these parts are terrible. Way too prickly for my taste. No more sheep for me ever. Ouch! Ow! 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 Senor Lobo spent a week pulling prickles out of his mouth and could swallow nothing but soup made from weeds and bark and never ate another sheep as long as he lived. But Bonita and her lamb lived happily together, grazing on the mountainside, and her lamb grew to be as clever as she was. I love you, Mommy. I love you too, mijo.